who ever thought it was a good idea to smash nature into itself? Well, um, I suppose Ernest Rutherford initially. Um, so we go back to Manchester, the turn of the 20th century, and Rutherford was using uh, Ernest, Ernest radioactive Rutherford. decay yeah. uh -huh. to um, essentially produce the particles. I mean, it's just the, the decay of the decay of atomic nuclei that naturally happens to produce high energy particles, which he then fired into gold foil and bounced them off the foil. In doing that, he discovered the atomic nucleus. So you, one way to think about particle physics is that you, when, when you collide things together, what are you doing? You, you're really building a microscope. One way to think of it is that the higher the energy of the collision, the, the, the faster these things are traveling, uh, the, smaller the, the, the smaller the object you can see. So we were talking about seeing for the first time in those experiments, the atomic nucleus. Um, you move forward to the, um, you, well, ultimately through the 50s and 60s, and we have higher and higher energy collisions, you start seeing that the nucleus is made of protons and neutrons. And then you start seeing it in the 50s and 60s that the protons and neutrons are made of smaller things called quarks. And so we discover those. That we've not discovered anything smaller than that, by the way. Is it because you don't have so, enough energy to bust well, up a quark? 